The essence of this practice routine is to practically build into you yeah. what you should master. It's not just to teach you. It is a library that just taught you and then if you like, do it once and forget about it. But this particular practice routine is yeah. not just teaching you. Yeah. I'm actually doing it doing and, it and telling you, okay, do it five times. Yeah. Practice it ten times. Practice it twenty times. So that if you can follow it in such level of discipline, Hi guys, welcome to Musak's New World Empire channel and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Stop right there. Practice routine is what we have for you today. And I'm sure you're going to be learning a lot with this. My name is Vera Sachs and with me in the studio is Musak. Oh guys, subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Okay, stay tuned and keep learning. Alright guys, we're here again. We want to show you practice routine. If you are a beginner, you have to be practicing something every day. First thing first, if you have gotten the beginner library, that is the first step that shows that you are very serious. You need to practice all the topics individually before you can master uh, a practice routine. Now, for somebody who is learning and just following the library, if you are playing, if you are learning vibrato, what you will be practicing for that whole week or for that whole month will be vibrato or uh, slurring or grace note as the case may be. So you will wait. You will learn those things first. But let's assume you've passed through topic one, topic two, topic three, topic four, topic five, and you've gone through it. Now, when it's time for you to practice, you will discover that you are neglecting one aspect of the topic is it the yeah. now at that point you will now need to get this practice, practice routine, routine. Yeah. because that it is this practice routine that ensure that all through your practice you are not leaving out something, something. very know. important mm -hmm. for example somebody has learned uh, vibrato when is when he goes through the whole course and get to uh grace note he will forget <laughs> what vibrato vibrato you bear witness with me that it is what you are learning on or at, at that particular moment. at that mm. moment that your whole practice session will focus on mm. now that means the things you have learned in the back you will not be able to carry them over and over and over and over and the best way to practice is not be, is not to practice your top the topic you are learning today is not what you are supposed to practice this week alone you know if you are learning let us know you practice um, permutations. And then you are now in the technique. And then because you are in, uh, what do you call it, slurring, slurring, you now forget that you're supposed to practice your permutations. permutations go to your, uh, your, your, your vibrato Vibration. before you practice what you were actually learning at that time, which is your slurring. So if you don't know how to carry your practice routine along, you will be faced on just what you are learning for that particular time while you are learning one thing you are forgetting the other ones mm -hmm. that is the essence of this course and if you have been watching us you have learned so much but you notice that you are not carrying enough along you are forgotten your your vibrato down the lane you are forgotten your slurring down the lane the worst is when you now get to the uh intermediate maybe you are now learning improvisation you if you most student of improvisation forget their grace notes it's true, and most vibrato. student and vibrato because there is no practice routine that guides them to carry along what they were learning and it is the complaint that we have gotten and the practical need that we have seen that is making us come up with this uh, this particular course again, which I expect everyone to get. Now, you should get it after you have learned certain things and you now want to carry along everything you have learned. Now, and it is going, it's even so easy, if, even if you have not gotten the library, you can even still get it because you can literally just slow down the video and just practice along mm -hmm. as, as we are practicing because it's going to be, pra it's going to be practical. Yeah. Day one, practice this. Day two, practice this. Day three, practice this. Day four, up to day 30. If you go through this 30 days practice routine and you don't come out with a testimony of after following it for 30 days, mm -hmm. what did you notice? Yeah. Then you get back to us and then, then you actually tell me that what? 
this is actually very important as we have imagined and i know it's going to be great for you all right so we're going to just uh, show you a little but we're going to take our time to edit it and uh, practice day one day two every day will be a video that you should practice now if you are just starting out saxophone you can actually also just follow it and you will discover that what following day one following day two and day three if you get to any particular day and you don't understand what that particular video is saying, is it it? Mm -hmm. You will have to now go back to the library or get back to the to the to the YouTube channel and search for that topic. Or just if you have the library, is there? The library actually follows line line by line with this practice routine. Mm -hmm. So if you have it, you can use it line by line, side by side. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Verasax, I think this is going to be a great thing for them. What do you have to say about this practice routine? Wow, it's going to be awesome. Like, a lot of you are going to grow tremendously. That's the truth. You are going to grow. In fact, the growth bar is going to be obvious, you get. Because once somebody is, is, has something to follow every day, okay, this. I, I have seen some practice routine online, like exercise, all this um uh, body fit exercise. Yes. So say, okay. Today, do like this. Do five. Do five. Yes. And they will tell you the exact number, the exact to, number do, to do, which is what you will see in this in practice this routine. Practice. So this is it. This is what you really need. You need this after getting the saxophone library. <laughs> because saxophone library... Yeah. Guys, saxophone library is on massive promo right now. Hmm. It's a massive promo. When I talk about saxophone library, it's not just one clip of, of course, of, it's just one clip of some courses like that. There are full courses in each library. We have three categories of this library. We have beginner sax library, intermediate sax library, and advanced sax library. All this, each of these libraries has a lot of courses inside them. Do you understand? There's a lot in there. There's beats, there's click track, there's each, there's courses. Do you understand? So when you come to me that, okay, I want to get a library, just know that you are coming for one big something. But if you want me to split it down, it's not, it will not favor you. Do you understand? I can as well just split it into pieces and get your money. But it will not really favor you. But that's why we have to put it all together. Just split it into three category just a beginner intermediate and advanced so that when you get beginner you know that eh, uh -huh, i have gotten what a beginner should get you understand you are not scared of anything or you are leaving anything out everything is in a big everything beginner courses are there very detailed and everything so now it's a massive promo 60 hmm. percent promo and this promo last till third of june third of june is my birthday so i'm i just decide to okay mozas new world let's celebrate this day with this promo for our online students you understand so 60 percent discount is just between now and third of june because yeah because it is very sucks birthday <laughs> okay all right let's uh, continue with our practice routine all right well, guys so if you have gotten the sax library in this practice routine uh this class is just to introduce it it's a very serious course day one is a video day two is a video day three is a video like that so you'll be following it and then if you follow you and we are also doing it practically yeah we're practical. actually doing it practically if i wanted to do permutations on a beat and it's going to come with beats you're going to have access to some beats there go some click tracks that will guide you also as you practice. Some of the lessons are going to ask you to practice without the beat. Another lesson is going to tell you practice with the beat. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you must, you need 30 days to practice to go through the whole course, isn't it? Yeah. For those of you that have time, you can split day one to be in the morning. Day two can be in the, in okay. the next, uh, next three hours. Depending on how you space your how time, fast. how the fast you want to also uh -huh. do it. The, the reason like why, that. why they, they call it daily something is yes. so that it will not be that you are rushing it. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you just rush day, it and say hey, you, you don't get, get it. it. Uh -huh. so. so it is better to stay on day one yeah, exactly. and practice it over and over and over and over and over. And don't forget, some of the video will tell you practice this 10 times, practice this 30 times. 
practice this. Why am I saying you should practice it 30 times? For example, practice slurring, slurring exercise one, 20 times. That's one. If the lesson say practice it five times, there is a reason. We are imagining it that most students just practice it once and say they know it. <laughs> but the essence of this practice routine is to practically build into you yeah. what you should master. It's not just to teach you. It is a library that just taught you and then if you like, do it once and forget about it. But this particular practice routine is yeah. not just teaching you. Yeah. I'm actually doing it doing and it. Telling, telling you, okay, do it five times. Yeah. Practice it ten times. Practice it twenty times. So that if you can follow it in such level of discipline, if I tell you to practice this, the more do, the more D to E, D to C, grace note, and I tell you to practice it ten times, please practice it ten times. The reason is because I know that that particular fringling is very difficult. So you need to do it over and over and over and over and over to master it. Students who easily get tired of repetition don't master the saxophone. Yeah. Mm. You can write it anywhere. If you are tired, if you are the type that can't practice one thing, like a leak, now I can tell you practice this leak. The library taught you the leaks. Mm. Now, the practice routine will not just teach you that leak. It will just say... It's going to tell you to practice it at this beat, practice it at increase the beat to this level, practice it 10 times, practice it 20 times, practice it 30 times. You get it. The reason is because we are building that leaks inside of you, not just showing you. Mm -hmm. You already know how to do <laughs> A student come and say, play it like this, I know how to play it. <laughs> you can't play, you can't, how can you ever apply the... You will never be able to apply this, yeah. this, this if you are at this level. It is this practice routine that tells you to practice it 30 times for day one to day three that if you follow, you will notice that naturally you will build speed. The essence of the practice routine is not to teach you. Mm. It is to help you master. One, master. Mm. Two, perfect it. Speed. Add speed and precision. And then the most important thing is being able to apply it on the beat. Sometimes, for those of you in the advance, we can actually tell you today, practice this particular song with this soundtrack. Follow it. You must score this today. If you can score this today. So we're going to just trust God and the time that we have spent uh, teaching the saxophone, the experience we've gathered over the years, to put up this, this, this massive... Uh, addition to Musak's New World Empire that is going to really take your saxophone to another level. It's not about the money, it's about the passion to see you play the saxophone very well. So, whatever price it is, I know it's going to be something that you are going to uh, really be able to afford, especially those of you that have gotten the library. It's for those who mean business, it's for those who want to take their saxophone playing to practical experience. Those who want to get in on stage, to perform, to play, to minister, not just remain in class for months. This practice routine for you. If you are in advance, if you are an advanced player, it's better you still get the beginner because it helps you to carry along oh. everything that you have so that you don't get to advance. Somebody can, because you can now do minus K, you don't even know how to do pentatonic again. <laughs> so that is what this is all about. There are sacks, I don't want to keep this video long. Thank you so much. Wow, oh my God. Hmm, this kind of thing. Ah. I, I, I can't miss out. I can't miss out. So I don't expect you to miss out too. Okay, guys, we are based in Abuja. This question has always been coming. Where are you people? Where are you people? Okay, where are you people? Where are you people? We are based in Abuja, Nigeria. Yes. And we do one on one private lesson, both online and offline. So you can freely contact us on the number that will be on the comment section or in the description uh, box. 
below. So guys, we are open. We are not scammers. So we are open. This is Mossack's New World Empire. Whatever you pay for, you get it straight up. So be rest assured that you are going to learn and learn and know it and, and to be part of you. And this practice routine, oh my God, I'm so excited about it. All right, see you in our next video. Bye.